Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Celia would like to introduce you to Robert Morgan. Hello, he said. Happy New Year. Good morning, said Celia. Good morning. Nice to meet you. It's a new year and I see it to be a year of friendship. OK, Cecilia, that sounds very profound. Where are you from and how old are you? He asked. I live in Durham in the northeast of England and I'm 55. What about you? I live in California and I'm 63. Send me a picture of you. My picture's on here, said Celia. Don't be lazy. Hi. Hello again, said Celia. I'm just starting my lunch break. Great, said another member of the team. Where are you from? Same place as I was when your mate asked me yesterday. Oh, I see. And what time it's there now. I looked on Facebook, but you have just one picture. Can I see a full picture of you? Is this going to be one of those tedious conversations where we go round in circles, said Celia. I already told you my photo's on here. If you don't like it, you're welcome to go and talk to someone else. I checked on your profile. I can't see your photos. I said photo, singular, replied Celia. If you don't like it, go and talk to someone else. Goodbye. Hi, still on break. Let me know when you can text. Yes, I'm here, said Celia. And so, very briefly, he called her. Hello. Are you there? Hi. So I can't really hear you very well. Hello. I assume you're just a time-wasting idiot who won't speak, said Celia. I tried to call, but can't see you. How rude, Cecilia. Sorry. Oddly enough, I can't see you either or hear you. No, you aren't, she said in reply to him, saying he was sorry. I'm not wasting time. Just want to be sure this is real. I was scammed. That's the latest thing that the scammers tell you. They claim that they've been scammed. You are time wasting, Cecilia. Otherwise, you'd speak. You're just a rude time wasting idiot. Sorry, you need to understand. It's rude and disrespectful to call and not speak. Oh, I understand only too well. Go and annoy someone else. Well, I'm texting you and I want to know more about you. I'm not interested in texting unless you do me the courtesy of speaking, she said. I'm from USA and I'm 63, he said. Congratulations, replied Celia and called him. Right, are you going to do me the courtesy of speaking or are you still going to be a rude time-wasting idiot? Hi, can you hear me? Just about, you're very quiet. Can you hear me? I said just about you're very quiet. I'm sorry. I just, uh, I'm still waking up. I try to make sure that I, I'm talking to the right person in the picture. Uh, when I was calm, I, I try to be careful anytime I'm talking to someone online. So you better understand my point of view. I'm not trying to be rude. I just want to make sure that I don't get hurt or you can get hurt. Yeah, well, that works. I'm sure you understand that that works both ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You, exactly. So explain to me why you have a Nigerian accent, not an American one. I'm not from Nigeria. I I don't know why, you, why you're saying this, but you're not a fair person. I, I have my mom from South Africa, but my dad is from uh, California, so... Right, explain to me why you don't have a South African accent, you don't have a Californian accent, but you do have a Nigerian accent. It was your no, idea no. to call to check that you were talking to the right person. I am, I am, I am, why do you say I have a Nigerian accent? Because you do have a Nigerian accent and no, it was your no, idea to no, call. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's just, that just what you think. But yeah, so think you decided, you decided to call to show me that you're a lying, time-wasting scammer, is that right? What do you want to say? As I say, it was your idea to call to, so we could check who we were talking to. Well, I try to make sure that that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not I'm not here for, for your money or something. I'm just trying to know the real person. So if you think like you don't want to accept my action or whatsoever, that's cool with me. I don't have a problem. But I just kind of like trying to protect myself. I don't want to get paid anymore. I don't want to get scammed. I spent a couple of dollars and then I never meet her. So, I just want to be very careful. 
as I say, it was your idea to call to show off your identity. So, you know, what you've, you've is, done that, haven't you? My, I really did what to do with me trying to protect myself. If you don't want to accept my identity, I don't have a problem. No, and it was your idea to call, so you got yourself into this mess, didn't you? Not a mess. I'm only trying to be rude to you. So if you don't want to be rude to me, I'm poor. No, I know. I expect you're honest and truthful and um, you want to know my favourite colour and whether I've eaten. Mm -hmm. Oh, and my hobbies, of course. Can I come again? Yeah, you heard. I said I expect you're honest and truthful and real. You want to know my hobbies, my favourite colour, whether I've eaten, and I expect your wife either had an affair with your best friend or died in a horrible crash along with your firstborn child. Your only other child is in a boarding school. How am I doing? And you probably work on an oil rig in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, but you don't know how big the Gulf of Mexico is, so you don't know where your oil rig is. Did I get any of that wrong? No, I didn't think I did. OK, then. Goodbye. Hi, he said at the end of the call. And then he called her again. And ladies and gentlemen, listen to this fine example of scammer logic. And I suggest you find yourself a comfy chair and get some snacks. Because boy, can this man talk. Now what do you want? Okay, you're going to be a time-wasting idiot again and not talk, are you? Uh, can you hear me? Just about, yes. You're very quiet. Can you put your phone close oh, to your it's... mouth? Okay. Can you put your phone closer to your uh, mouth? Sorry, I got uh, interrupted. My, a friend of my phone. Can you put your phone closer to your mouth? A friend of mine called me, so that's can, why the call interacted. Can you put your can phone you closer to your can you mouth? Can you, can, can you hear me now? No, I can't. Can you put your phone... Hello? Yes, hello. Can you put your phone closer to your mouth? You know your mouth, the thing you exactly, speak that's, of. That's what I'm doing. Can you hear me clearly? No, you're still very quiet, but I can hear you. Well, I don't know what the problem is. Might be the network or something. I kept the phone close to my mouth. Okay, well, I know you have dodgy networks in Nigeria, so... Okay. So what, what I was trying to uh, let you understand is I don't have a problem. I'm just looking for a friend. I don't see the reason why you should kind of like try to uh, misjudge me and because of my accent or something. But you have to accept me for who I am and I should be able to accept you for who, I, who you are. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. I just don't want to get scammed again. I don't want to lose my money anymore. So I'm just trying to make sure that uh, you are who you are and I'm talking to the right person. I didn't say I didn't accept you for who you are. You're, uh, the only thing that I would ask is, are you in Lagos, Abuja, or somewhere else? I don't. I don't. I've never been to uh, uh, where you mentioned. I just told you I'm in my accent, and I told you where I am. So I don't know what the reason why you have to kind of like think this when I don't have anything against you. Is it is it bad for me to come clear to let you understand who I am? Well, I know who you are. You're a Niger you're Nigerian. The only question Nigerian? is, are you in Lagos or Abuja? Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Please, please. We can be friends if you don't want us to talk about anything. But don't call me names. Don't kind of like try to prejudge me or something. If I'm from Nigeria, I will tell you I'm from Nigeria. I don't have a problem with that. Africans are human beings and then uh, uh, my friend of of mine is married to an African, so I don't see the reason why if uh, someone is from Africa, how is that bad? They are human beings. Who said? I just not. Who I'm said that was bad? Who said it was no, bad being from Nigeria? 
Oh, so why do you, why do you, I told you who I am and uh, you kind of like conflicting uh, my identity and you kind of like sending me to where I am not. I don't know why you're doing that or why are you saying that. Are you married to a Nigerian or what? Who said it was bad being from Nigeria? Well, you're, are you married to a Nigerian? How do you, are you, do you live there? I work in the so told. I work in a university. We have students from all around the world. Who said being a Nigerian was bad? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. If you think they are bad and you kind of like trying to put me there. I hear stories about Nigerians, but I don't think all of all of them are bad people. And why do you think I think being your Nigerian is bad? They, because they, most of them uh later when when i heard the lady that scammed me uh it was someone from nigeria and well there was one two from uh east africa and then uh, that's why i don't i don't want to even hear the name nigeria so when you mention it and you try to put like uh that's where i'm from i should be a kind of like uh no happy i try to just kind of like I don't want to talk things that I'm not supposed to talk about because when I think about uh, what happened to me, what she did to me, I, I go ahead and I don't want to kind of like be playing that in my mind. So you're not happy. Mm -hmm. You're not happy being Nigerian, despite the fact that you think that Nigerians and Africans are um, human beings, which obviously you are um, the same as everyone else, which obviously you are. I am trying to say I got scam and later when I kind of like try to find out most people say that Nigerians are the people scamming people all around the world and when you say I'm from there so I think because uh because of that kind of like notion I should feel bad and kind of like it's what you're trying to put like maybe I'm one of them or something of that sort so that's what I I'm trying know. to you, say you tell me are you one of them because it's obvious you're Nigerian I mean, I don't know how stupid said, you think I am. I'm, <laughs> Actually, come to, to that. How stupid are you? Listen to me. Listen to me. I never said you are stupid. I never said you are. You are. You are kind of like. I'm only trying to say. Africans or Nigerians are human beings. If if they have bad people, they have good people as well. I wouldn't say because I got scammed by a Nigerian, I should go against Nigerians. I should call them fools or something. That's all I'm trying to let the kind of like put across. I just want you to understand. I'm not from there. I told you my accent. If you're going to think like we can be friends for good, fine. I don't have a problem. But I'm not trying to kind of like, I wouldn't take identity that I am not. If I was to be a Nigerian, I'll tell you I'm from Nigeria. If you're going to accept me as a friend, fine. But if I'm not from Nigeria and you're calling me a Nigeria, why should I kind of like own up? For what reason? Right, That's so we've, agreed, you, you we've agreed you've got nothing against Nigerians. <laughs> so why are you so upset at being Nigerian? Because I'm not. If I was, I'll tell you I am. That's all I'm trying to let you understand. Are you from, are you from uh, India? Do I sound as if I'm from India? It doesn't matter. I've got people that got settled here from Mexico and uh, they were being born here they never went back to mexico and then they speak like they don't speak like uh mexicans i don't i don't i don't think like uh their accent uh shows in them so that does not make them uh not being mexicans because that's where they are from they were only born and bred here and then uh, they have american accent yeah, well, you, so you don't make... have an American accent, don't you? Do you? So you clearly weren't born and bred in America. Exactly. People, people, people have. I mean, kind of a different route that when you grow up with the people that uh, you live with, it could be like kind of genetic as well. So it doesn't matter. I'm only trying to let you understand that if you are not an Indian, and I'm saying I'm forcing to call you an Indian, how will you feel? Does it mean? Uh, if I'm calling you an Indian and you are not, if you own up to say you are an Indian, it's not going to be possible. If you are an Indian, you're going to tell me you are an Indian.
but if you are not and i'm calling you an indian how is that going to kind of like fall in place what's wrong with being just, what's wrong with being indian lots of people are you know oh my goodness i'm only trying to just set an example for you i don't say you are an indian i'm only trying to kind of like uh set an example yeah well we've agreed you don't we've agreed you weren't born and bred in america obviously like the mexicans who were born and bred in america and have american mm -hmm. accents not mexican ones <laughs> obviously you weren't born and bred in america because you don't have an american accent so where do you think you were born and bred i mean you've got nigerian accent that's you know even you I must not, know that so, listen to me so where, where, where were you me. born and bred oh my goodness how long how many times do you want me to repeat myself I many times say, does it takes you to tell me the truth i mean i don't know how stupid I'm just you think i am if you don't and i don't know how stupid you are oh my goodness you kind of i still use some ways on me stupid and i don't know what you you've got can... against nigerians i'm not against nigerians i'm well, only that's trying good. to say that listen to me i'm only trying to say that if i was to be a nigerian i'll tell you i'm a nigerian you wouldn't ask me before i even tell you but if I'm not from Nigeria and you kind of like putting Nigeria on me, how how am I going to own up? Uh, how are you going to own up? Not? You're just going to tell the truth. Because I'm telling you the truth, I'm not from Nigeria. And you force me to say I'm from Nigeria. Okay, well, where are you, you want... from then? Ghana? Oh, my goodness. Where is that? <laughs> So obviously Ghana. not from Ghana, if you apparently don't know where it is. It's kind of strange that somebody in Nigeria doesn't know where Ghana is, don't you think? What are you trying to say? Good to tell me you don't know where Cameroon is next, are you? Cameroon? Yeah, I thought you might have trouble. I, I mean, I realise that in Nigeria they don't teach you geography in schools, but I think you probably know where Cameroon and, um, or you probably know where Benin is as well. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. With you. You kind of like, <laughs> no, you wouldn't have a clue what like, honest means, would you? Well, I'm just trying to say what you're saying. I don't have anything to do with the uh, the places that you kind of like yeah. mentioning. What about Canada? Do you anything. know where that is? I I don't I don't I don't know anything about Cameroon or Guyana. I don't I don't. You don't know anything I about just, Guyana. Where? I thought you just said Guyana. You don't know anything about Canada. Do you not find that a bit odd for someone that lives in America? Oh, I, I know, I know, I know of Canada. I oh, you've just remembered. Canada. Good. And what about Guyana that you mentioned? Do you know where that is? You mentioned that to me, so I'm just repeating why 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 you said. No, I said Ghana. You said Guyana. Do you know that they're two different places? Well, is it not the same thing? You don't know the difference between Ghana and Guyana? I know. Of, I heard of Guyana. Yeah. Do you know where it is? Not really. I only heard it. No, I didn't think you would. No. And you don't mm -hmm. know where Ghana is either. Where is that? Do you know the difference between Africa and North and South America? Well, that's what, that's what I was kind of like referring to. Yeah. Did you study geography in school? Of course. I presume you didn't, if you don't know the difference between Africa and North and South America. And I, know, know I know of is. Africa. I know as, as of Africa as a continent. Oh, that's but good. I don't, know, uh, I don't know each state or I don't know much about the states uh, that I could tell you. But I know of Africa as a continent. Hmm. Do you know about South America then? A bit. A bit, right. Well, name me some countries in South America. Well, I didn't do geography. So if you... Oh, no, you like decided you didn't do geography. Okay. Mm hmm No. Did you go to school? Oh, my goodness. Why are you asking me the questions? Well, if you didn't study geography, I'm wondering what you did at school. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I know schooling is pretty poor for a lot of people in Nigeria, but... And I know that geography is terrible. Well, what, what I need to let you understand is that I don't even know what you're talking about. You're kind of like uh, going around and I don't know what this talk is all about. 
I only told you. You told me where you're from. You told me you are from England. And I know. I Let's change the subject. Tell me what you think you do for a living. You want us to change the topic? Yeah, tell me what you think you do for a living. I'm self entrepreneur. I do construction, but I was kind of like a uh, more like a a, a health professional. More like a health professional. Health professional. A health professional. What do you do? A health professional. Mm -hmm. You're a health yeah, professional was, that does construction. I said I am. Oh my goodness! Let me tell you something. My dad. My dad worked with uh, A. J. Michaels in Maryland. I can't, hear what you're, I can't years. hear what you're saying. You can't hear what, you, what I'm saying? No. I said my dad worked with AJ Michaels in Maryland for so many years. And then uh, that's where he kind of like did allegations for me. And I got kind of like some kind of partnership with them. And but me as a person, that's what I'm trying to say. I was an Aryan for a number of years. You were a what for a number of years? RN. A what? Sorry. RN. Oh, N. What's R -N that? As in Robert. Yeah, what's that? Medisarica. Sorry? You keep cracking up. Me I said Medica and Sergica Nation. I was specialised in that. You're a doctor? Mm -hmm. You're a doctor who's also an RN. Exactly. So you went to medical school twice. Wh which what I'm trying to say, I am a registered nurse that specialised in medical surgical nursing. Is so you're I'm not a doctor. So you're not a doctor. I am health profession, not a doctor. You're not a doctor. Exactly. So when you said, yes, you're a doctor, you meant, no, I'm not a doctor. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. I thought so, yes. And where did you study nursing? Here in California, at the California uh, State University. Okay. And why, do you want to, why do you want to know more about me? And when I ask you questions about yourself, you don't want to, you don't want to show I mean, you don't want to tell me. Don't want to tell you what? I ask you questions about you and then you keep fucking me up telling me that I shouldn't be lazy. I should go on. I only have one picture of you on Facebook. And how am I going to know that? Uh, and what did you ask on Facebook? You got just one picture. That's what I could see. Yes. And then I needed a picture of you. just. No, you don't. You don't need a picture. Why don't I need it? I need to... I mean, see who you are. No, you don't. You can see from the picture that's on there who I am. Why do you say that? If you're trying to kind of like know much about me, why don't you want to own up and let me know much about you? So you think knowing about me just means seeing another picture, do you? That's all you want to know about me is another picture. And many, many people, many people try to kind of like fake. I've made fake profiles, I mean, many times. And I told you about my experience. Yeah, so you think seeing another picture of me is all you need to know about. We'll tell you everything you need to know about me. Not not everything, but it's going to be something of, of you that I I can know from the picture. Uh, and what do you think another picture will tell you that the one that's already there won't tell you? I only saw just a half picture of you. So what, do you think another pi what do you think another picture will tell you that that one doesn't? If you if you don't if you're not if you are not who you are, I think, and you don't, you can show me different pictures of you. Then I'm gonna know that you just don't. It's not a person in the picture because you can't provide. I mean, other pictures of you. What do you think another picture will tell you that that one? You tell me. It will tell me exactly who you are. It will tell me. I mean, uh, whether the person I'm seeing in the picture. Uh, what do you will you listen to me what okay. do you think another picture what do you think another picture will tell you that that one doesn't what will a different picture tell you that the one that is already there doesn't tell you 
Well, the one that, that, that is on the Facebook is just your page. And I'm saying I need a full picture. If I see a full picture... Oh, I'm I see. You're see one of those You're one of those men that judges a woman by her body, are you? No, no. I'm only trying to say... What you're going to tell me is that I'm just going to know uh, maybe your height and then... Uh, so you do judge a woman from, by her body? Or not really. But I'm not really. That judge means, you. yes, you do judge a woman by her body. I don't judge women by their body. You'll be asking me for nudes next, won't you? Well, I do ask because I want to make sure that it's not just... Because um, on Facebook, I don't see it to be like you're just going to just have one picture and that's all. And you don't think maybe one I picture could... is good enough? You think I might change if I send you another one, do you? Maybe I'll develop long blonde hair and sort of um, large tits and a large booty. Would that make you happy? <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. All that matters you to know, me I, might turn, I might turn into a, a six-foot-one model with, um, you know, sort of 21 years old and... Oh, well, I don't know. Whatever it is you want to see, I don't know. You tell me what you want to see. I just want to see a full picture. That's what I'm trying to say. That's all. It doesn't matter how you look or why you look. I just want to see a full picture of you. Well, that's that's what I'm trying because to you're obviously the kind of man that only judges a woman by, body, by her body, and I'm really not interested in talking to you anymore. Oh, my goodness. Cecilia. Cecilia. Or how do you want me to call you? Well, that'll do. It is my name, after all. Which one? Celia. Celia. your name. Okay. You see, I just don't want us to keep dragging these things back forth. I just need you as a friend. Nothing else until maybe I got to know you for real. And please don't ever ask me for money because if you do, I'm not going to send you money. I've had enough of, I mean... This oh, but you're going to ask me for money. I mean, we both know that. I don't get you. Oh, I think you get me perfectly well. What did you say? I said, we both know you're going to ask me for money. For what? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll think of a reason. Well, I just want to tell you that don't judge people by heart because... And sometimes it's a sin to judge people when you don't know them. I'm yeah. only trying to let you understand that. And it'll, be, it'll you know. be interesting to see how long you can manage to talk to me and over what time period you can manage to talk to me without asking for money. That, that would be interesting, well, wouldn't it? Well, it, I, don't, I don't think money is everything. I, I kind of like try to put humanity first That's before good. money. That's good. Because I don't, I don't think... I don't think uh, Money can buy everything. Yeah. With humanity, you can you can you can go to everywhere you wanna go. That's good. So we'll, we'll see uh, how long you carry on talking to me before you either decide to go and talk to someone else or or start asking me for money. My guess is a week, but you know I could be wrong. A week? Yeah, you know it might be shorter, <laughs> but we'll see. All right. The fact is that. All I need is someone that I can trust and be trusted. All I need is someone I can call a friend, someone I can get up and talk to. And then if I have a problem, maybe uh, she could be of a suggestive I mean, solution to my problem. Yes, which obviously aren't going to involve my money. Hmm? I said which obviously aren't going to involve my money. The solutions to your problems, that is. Money. I don't. I don't. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about if I have an an issue that I think like I need ideas uh, on how to solve the problem. I can discuss with you. We talk as friends, as as family. Just kind of like uh, you see, just try to have an idea. Maybe you've ever faced such challenge and or yeah. have an idea of how I can solve it. Yes. Obviously, just, everybody just, contacts ram random women online to um, run ideas past them. Mm -hmm. So if you think like uh, you trust that person enough that you have to disclose some of your personal information to it, because if I got divorced and I think like uh, what I went through, 
maybe I didn't handle that matter very well. And I think like uh, you as a woman, uh, you could be up suggested like, uh, what, what should I do or what I did? Was it right? Or you, you can give me ideas and just share your life experience with me as well. Just like that as a family. Yes, I mean, so thank just, you for... Uh, every, every man contacts a random woman online to share, share his life experiences with. Understand that. Well, it could be, it could be, if that is real, why not? I don't see that to be a problem. If that is real. I'm only trying to tell you that uh, there's, there's, there's life more than money. And that life I want to live is just to kind of like uh, see the world as one global place and just, I mean, uh, see everyone as one family because we are all children of God. And then I, 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 I always put humanity first. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. It doesn't matter um, whether you are a male or a female. I only try to make sure that age is not even a matter to me. You could be of uh, maybe younger than I am, but if it makes sense to keep in touch with you, why not? If you are older than me and it makes it makes sense for me to get in touch with you, I don't have a problem. Just just like the way myself and you who we spoken for like how long now? It's nice to me. It kind of like take away the loneliness that I have in me. And at least if I ever need uh, some kind of information or idea or something uh, concerning England, I could decide to go on vacation uh, to England. And if I need information, you could kind of like tell me, oh, we have this story center or this, this, this. I mean, there's something like that. Do you go around trying to say? That's a good idea. You could come to Durham, couldn't you? Well, I'm not saying I'm going to come, but I'm just trying to tell you. If I'm in touch with you, there are more things that we can kind of like take care of apart from money or aside money. I'm just kind of assuring you that please don't ever ask me for money. That's all I'm trying to say. Please. Okay, so we've agreed that I'm not going to ask you for money and you're not going to ask me for money. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, you take it a point, please. Don't judge people by heart. It's kind of like sometimes you're going to mislead yourself and it's going to put you in your body because. You I, might don't, not know. I don't understand why you think knowing that you're from Nigeria is judging you since we've agreed that you have nothing against Nigerians. I'm only trying to tell you that I don't have anything against Nigerians as a country. But what are you trying to say? Because Nigerians, most of them, I got scammed. I, I think the woman for, was from or from Nigeria or something. People hashtag uh, Nigerians as bad people. But I only try to say not all of them could be bad people. So I can't use somebody's, someone's action to judge another. It's just what I'm trying to put across. I got heard from different women. That doesn't mean that. You are the same person. If I'm meeting you, I'm going to put them in your, uh, I'm going to put you in their place. Just what I'm trying to let you understand. Yes, yeah, so we've okay. agreed that not all Ni Nigerians are bad people. I know that. We have lots of them here at the university. Mm -hmm. so, so now, if you think so. So the only question is, of... are you a not bad Nigerian or a bad one? I'm not from Nigeria. How many times do you want me to say? You, you, can say as many times, you can say it as many times as you like. It's obvious that you are. I don't know how stupid you think I am, and I don't know how stupid you, want me, you are. You want, me to say, you want me to say I'm from Nigeria? Well, you obviously you are from Nigeria. Please, please, please. If I'm not from Nigeria, how will I say? If you ask me for my Nigerian passport, how am I going to show it? Well, that's a good idea. Send me your Nigeria. Send me a copy of your passport. That's a brilliant idea. Well, I don't have Nigerian passport, and I'm not gonna get it, and I don't even know. Well, send me your uh, American passport. Send me your American passport. That would be good fun. Why do you Why do you want my American passport? Well, it was your idea. Why do you want it? Well, it was your idea to send it, so you gave me the idea. So I now not, I want it. I am not. I am not. I'm not gonna force myself on you if you can. If you can't kind of like accept me for who I am. 
Well, I'm, perfect. I'm quite happy to accept you for who you are, which is someone from Nigeria. It's you that seems to have a problem with people from Nigeria, not me. So I say, we've got loads of them here at the university. We have, people, we have students what? here from all around the world. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care about whatever I mean, students you have in your school. But I'm only trying to say things about myself and my personality. But I'm not going to lie. <laughs> if I wasn't from America, I wouldn't like myself to say i'm from america that will make change that will make me a better person well not lying yeah, not, not lying would make you a better person but i don't think that's likely to happen do you i don't think so because uh, no, i don't think so <laughs> mm -hmm, because i don't think like if i say uh you mentioned of uh, cameroon from africa i wouldn't say you you are from cameroon when you are not if I say you are from Cameroon and you are not from Cameroon, what difference does it make? Does it make you a better person? No. So right, why so does saying you're not from Nigeria when you obviously are make you a better person? I'm not saying I'm from Nigeria because I'm not. And uh, if, if I was to be like uh, from Nigeria and I'm saying I'm not from there, it doesn't make me a better person. So. I'm just trying to let you understand that. I don't even know why you brought up uh, Nigeria and then we have to discuss Nigeria. No, no I don't, I don't know why you're so upset about pretending that you're not head, from Nigeria, head, I, but you obviously are. Head, anyway, I've, I've had time. enough of you. It's, uh, my lunch break is over. You know, I don't know how stupid you think I am, but really, I've had enough of you. So goodbye for now. So what time are you going to talk to me? What time will you get on? He asked when the call ended. Get on what? asked Celia. Happy Sunday. What's the time there? It's almost 10am. Wow! It's still 1.51am here. How are you? Sorry couldn't get back yesterday. I know, said Celia. It's totally amazing. In reply to him saying, wow, at her time. What activities do you like to do during your leisure times, he asked. Underwater yoga chairlifting and international stitch counting. What do you like doing? I'm kinder an outdoor person. I like to walk, hike, swim, go shopping, camping, travel and dance. Do you have kids? I have an adult son who lives in Sydney in Australia with his girlfriend. Oh, I see. Well, I have a son too, but he's on his own. Are you still married? I'm a widower since 2009. My husband died five years ago, she said. Sorry about your loss, but I must be honest with you. I'm not in for a relationship yet. I just need a friend. That's good, because I'm not looking for a relationship with you, said Celia. We can be good friends. I just need acquaintances. OK, said Celia. I need someone I can trust and be trusted, someone I can see as a sister or family. I believe we're all one people, no matter when you are from. Of course, said Celia. Tell more about your career. You said you're at what school and what's your position and duties? I don't work in a school, she said. I'm an administrator in the admissions department of Durham University. I've been there for 20 years, almost 21, I think. Oh, I see. Where are you originally from? Out, Mangalitnia, she said. Where are you originally from? Bakersfield, California. Have you ever been here? No, I haven't. She said, I don't think I've heard of it. I've heard of most places because we have students from all around the world. But that doesn't sound familiar. Well, you can Google it, he said. Bakersfield, California. I would one day want to have you here. I just did, she said. Have you lived there for a long time? Yes, over 30 years. A long time, she agreed. Do you have WhatsApp? I'm more on there, he tried. No, Cecilia, I don't give my number to people online. OK, I'm OK with that. I just want to be sure we're comfortable. I'm quite happy chatting on here. OK, will you on in an hour, he asked. I need to rest and get up. Probably, she said. Hi, sorry, I'll get on with you later today. Hello again, she said. I just sat down to have a sandwich to save you asking. Cheese and tomato. And yes, it's yummy. That always fools them because then they can't think of a reply. Oh, he said, did you enjoy that much? I like it. I also like fried potatoes.
That's a totally random statement. Congratulations, said Celia. My socks are green. Hello, well, he said. Well, let me get in touch tonight. Have I great time? What are you doing? That means you're having a great time, she asked. Hi, are you still up? Good morning, she said the next morning. You didn't tell me what you were doing. That meant you were having a great time. But, sadly, as Celia predicted during the call, once he'd agreed that she wasn't going to ask him for money and he wasn't going to ask her for money, his scam ran out of steam and our man just disappeared. I hope you enjoyed this tale of stunning scammer logic. If you did, please like it, please share it, please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video.